When we enter the new age, we are entering a new vibration. A new age raises us to a higher consciousness because ages are dispensations of light from the great central sun. Ages reveal to us a new perception of ourselves against the backdrop of a new revelation about God. And the God that is revealed to us in Aquarius is the God of freedom. The God who is revealed to us is that flaming presence of the Holy Spirit. That God that is revealed to us is the inner flame within. So I would like to talk to you about this new age and about ages in general. The term new age is related to a phenomenon in astrology and astronomy that is known as the precession of the equinoxes. The precession of the equinoxes, the backward rotation of the Earth on the polar axis, whereby the point of the equinox passes through the 12 signs of the zodiac in a period of 28,500 years. That means in one sign, it takes about 2,150 years for us to pass through. Ages are really not new. There was a new age 2,000 years before the birth of Jesus Christ. It was the age of Aries. And under that sign of Aries, which is actually the sign of the sun itself, a great revelation of God was given to us. Then came the age of Pisces and the great revelation through the incarnation of God, Jesus Christ. Today, again, a new revelation, a new vibration. We are at the end of Pisces and the beginning of Aquarius. They overlap. So the signs of our time is that we are experiencing the last days of Pisces, the end times of Pisces. And at the very same time, the new vibration of opportunity of Aquarius. So herein lies our perception of both our karma and what is coming in the future as opportunity. What we need to realize is that the age of Aquarius under the sign of Aquarius is the sign of a great freedom, the flame of freedom. And there is one who embodies that flame of freedom and that awareness of God as freedom, and his name is Saint Germain. The beloved ascended Master Saint Germain is the second friend that is a very dear heart, dear to your own. Saint Germain has walked the earth in many lifetimes, and we know him through those embodiments. We have known him, all of us have known him, at least in one of those lifetimes. Every lifetime he has lived, he has been putting on and internalizing the light of freedom. Freedom in science, in alchemy, in prophecy, freedom in government. His final incarnation was that of Francis Bacon, the greatest mind the West ever produced. Not too many people know this, and some who have heard it don't accept it, but he was the true author of the Shakespearean plays. He was a great scientific mind, and he envisioned a great inspiration for the renewal in the new world. He envisioned the coming of this new age and America as the land of the new age who would pioneer it. But that isn't where he started with America. Saint Germain was already calling our souls to that new age when he was embodied as Christopher Columbus. He came on a spiritual quest he was looking to discover the promised land where it had been said that the lost tribes would gather again, they would reincarnate here, and when they gathered, they would raise up an ensign to all the people of the world. An ensign is a sign. What is the contribution then that we, the people of this nation, gathered from all of the nations of the earth, are intended to give back to those nations of our heritage? It is the sign of a spiritual freedom, and out of a spiritual freedom, knowledge in the experiment of government. The ascended master Saint Germain was there in Independence Hall when the Declaration of Independence was signed. 
The story goes that there was a hesitation and a delay, that he suddenly appeared in the room and gave an impassioned speech which has been preserved. And the final words of that speech were, sign that document. And the independence that he saw in that signing was the independence from tyranny and dictatorship of all outer forces outside of our soul's union within with a divine spark and the inner presence to be a free people not subject to the tyranny of church or state. He inspired our constitution, our flag, and anointed our first president, initiating him as he knelt before his inauguration. Saint Germain is the living spirit of freedom in our nation. When we say we love America and we love the way it feels here, and there's no place on earth like America, especially when we've traveled everywhere else as I have, it's the spirit of his flame because Saint Germain, as an ascended master, determined to sponsor our nation. And in sponsoring our nation, he sponsored every single one of us to take embodiment here. He lived as Saint Joseph, the husband of Mary, father of Jesus, as the prophet Samuel in the Old Testament. He's that most beloved and curious figure, Merlin, who appears in the story of the court of Arthur and of Camelot which archaeology and literary research has established was a very real place. Merlin then, the ever-present Merlin, who wrote down his prophecies that were well read in the early centuries and then banned by the church, returns once again to call souls who were embodied with him in a golden age that took place on the Sahara Desert, where that Sahara Desert now is in a very fertile valley. 50,000 years ago. He has said that many Americans were there, and the recollection of him as that emperor, that priest king, that philosopher, that one who set the example for self-government by the inner light within, that remembrance has brought us together in the age that belongs to Saint Germain, that is his flame, that he has sparked. In this tremendous moment as we stand on the threshold of that age, we also see that there is prophesied war, rumors of war, problems in the economy, plague, mass starvation. We see manipulations of the ecology, the ecosystem. We see so many burdens, burdens that are either too hard to bear or impossible to bear because nobody has the key to their solution. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in new thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245 5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030 USA.